Good afternoon, everyone. So good to be back in this nice California weather. Uh, I don't say that sarcastically. Ohio weather was nasty. It was just, it was humid. It was nice that I didn't put lotion on my skin, but it was just, I'd walk outside the church with glasses on and it would instantly fog up just from humidity outside in contrast to the, the, mm, no. So, it's good to be back. <laughs> And I thank you all for keeping me, as well as all of them who are still there right now, um, in your prayers. It really made a difference, and um, us being there made a big difference. Because this is not a, this is not going to be me giving this long spiel, this long testimony about it. This is related to operatory, um, but they had what it was. Just a very quick synopsis is that they had a big festival because they want to have community presence in their area because they haven't done that much outreach yet. And so they had this big festival that me, as well as everyone else, participated in. We had a bunch of booths up with a bunch of games to come attract people to play them. And then we had this little uh, booth at the very front where they were trying to guess for how much candy was in this jar. And then we're getting people to sign up for our summer camp, the summer camp that they were hosting. So through that, we got like 30, 40 kids, which is fantastic for a small church. Um, and then we went through the camp for the full week, which was amazing. We ended up with a total of 50 kids and 23 staff, I believe that was the number. But it just had me thinking that through all of this, there's a necessity for money. <laughs> all these things are fantastic ministries. The that festival was so great. There's so many people who were able to check out the church. The pastor was there and he was able to talk to many, many people. And this camp was amazing. A lot of, I think it was 20 kids there were saying like they want to get baptized. And they were going to start going to that church. And that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to show Christ in an incarnational way and attract these people to Dustin Lampy, that's the pastor's name, Dustin's church, and it was extremely successful. However, it takes money. <laughs> this is not a, it's, he was given his church a million dollar property, and it's expensive to upkeep that. I'm sure it's thousands of dollars just for like repairs and just for keeping the gas and the lights on, all that stuff, and it takes money. And so his congregation and our congregation, all congregations, the money that we give as an offering, it goes to things like this. It goes to outreach, um, things like a camp. It goes to that festival that we're doing. It goes to being able to scholarship kids to come to camp. It goes to families in need. And so there are times where it can feel like you're just dropping some money in a just a basket, but there's use to it. It helps the church. It helps the community. It helps people. So when we give today, just know that when we give, it's going to something much bigger than ourselves. We have no idea how God can use this money. We ourselves may have a carnival and a camp here. I don't know what God can do with some money. He can multiply fish, five fish into thousands. And so what can he do with five bucks? <laughs> God is good. And so let's take up the offering. <laughs> 